I'll say whatever the hell I want them. If they don't like it, they can kiss me ears. Bob, Bob, you're on <laughs> air. Welcome to FYI and I'm a folks, Citizen Bob here. Well, February 16th council meeting was a full house, not to protest, but to celebrate. The celebration was to honor a citizen who has exemplified volunteerism and community leadership for over 30 years. Former councillor Diana Johnstone received the Freeman of the City Award, the highest honor a citizen can receive from the city of Nanaimo. Diana's dedication to serving the community is well known to many. Deservedly so, the crowd gave her a standing ovation as she accepted the award. It was a good thing former councillor George Anderson didn't write Diana's speech. Thank you, Diana Johnstone and family, for being a vital part of our community here in Nanaimo. From all of us at FYI, hats off, Diana. Now on to some business, folks. Many of us know how long, tedious, and boring most council meetings are. Well, February 16th was no exception. After Diana Johnstone's award presentation, the seats were mostly vacant. One thing that stood out from the meeting was the staff report on the current status of the Wellcox Rail Yard. During demolition of the Pallet Yard, there were significant archaeological findings, perhaps a Sinemo winter village. Although City Manager Swaby said Sinemo were somehow involved in the findings, it is very unclear whether the city contacted the First Nations community at all. So a heads up to the Mayor and Council. I would have thought by now city management would be duly aware of the Douglas Treaty of 1854 and that many Sinemo sites are recognized and protected. Well, folks, it will be interesting to see where this story goes. Now, here's a kicker for you folks. The executive and directors of the Nanaimo Empire Day Celebration Society is recommending to its membership that its annual Victoria Day festivities be canceled. Come on, folks. Nanaimo was the last city on the face of the earth to still celebrate the Empire Day. The British Parliament, in concert with Commonwealth Nations, abolished Empire Day back in 1958. 1958, not 2015. That Empire Day is an offense to not only our indigenous friends, but many in our community is a fact. Doug White, director of the Center for Pre-Confederation Treaties and Reconciliation at Vancouver Island University, said it best. Doug stated, today is an historic day of reconciliation. We are a dynamic and progressive city moving forward in unity and respect. Now, hopefully our communities will bring forward a new May celebration that is inclusive to all. Well, there you have it, folks. From all of us at FYI, this is Citizen Bob bringing you the stories. Be well, my friends. (music) 